What's up guys? Welcome back. First of all, let me say thank you so much to all of you um, who left a like. A, you know, all of you who viewed and watched my last video, which was a uh, first impressions video and unboxing on the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive. Now, I'm pleased to tell you guys that this is now available for you to buy on underarmor.com. Great, so let's get right into it. I will be doing my performance review on these guys today, the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive. Let's get right into it. For my performance review, we're gonna start with appearance. The appearance on this shoe does come in the Volt Fade to a olive green colorway uh, with accents of black right here on the tongue and on the midsole and on the outsole. As you can see, I did a little research. Uh, I found out why. It says E24. Apparently, it stands for the Elite 24 competition that Under Armour does every year. So obviously, even just this colorway was a shocking colorway. So it is definitely a head turner. The next thing I'd like to get into, the materials. The materials they went with on this shoe is a new technology that Under Armour has gone with and it is called Clutch Fit. Clutch Fit is amazing technology and I am very very pleased with the outcome of this shoe. The Clutch Fit is a one piece upper along the whole of the shoe. It goes all around like you can see there. The other materials on this shoe are a mesh. They got some mesh going right here on the tongue on the lower part and you can see it's a really thin tongue and it's a I don't know they kind of got like a 3d print going on here so what it does it just goes straight to your foot it, it hugs your foot and it's just great like this mesh here this is the only ventilation on the shoe the mesh did its part for the most of it and I didn't get any like hot spots or anything so no blisters no nothing whatsoever so yeah materials I think they did really good on these so if you are a big fan of like micro G, I suggest you get these. And I, I do suggest you guys try out this clutch fit that Under Armour has gone with because it's really innovative and I think the way they've, they've done it is just amazing. I think this should be a game changer for our game of basketball. So the next thing I'd like to get into is the cushion. The cushioning on these are a staple to the Under Armour name. It's Micro G. And this is the first time I've actually tried Micro G ever. I've had my fair share of Adidas basketball shoes, Nike basketball shoes, but I've never enjoyed the cushioning as much as I have in this shoe. Under Armour has gone amazing with their cushioning. I'm so glad that I got to try this. And for those of you who are wondering like what it feels like, it's like a really nice cushion on your feet so you don't feel like your foot is getting tired you're just so comfy the insole that this shoe comes with is also a full length micro G so you do have to look out for that and be excited for it because it's just amazing and I suggest that you guys you know try it out for yourselves the next thing I'd like to get into is the support and fit This shoe, the support comes obviously from the overall fit of the shoe, like, you know, this one-piece upper, the way that it's locked, locked down on the lacing, it hugs your foot. So then that overall fit is just, it feels amazing on your foot. It, uh, it's like having a sock on your foot. The other part of the support is this external heel counter, um, kind of like a shank, honestly, for your, your ankle, so it just keeps it in place. And that really did its job on the court. I didn't get any slipping in the heel area which was great. It kept me locked in every time I was moving so I was completely happy with that. The support I am very very happy especially when you tie it up to this last eyelet. You get the most of the support that you can ever get from it. For the fit this thing is true to size so I'm normally a size 10 in other brands and I went with a size 10 with this and it fit perfectly. So I don't suggest you go up or down a size. If you, if you believe that you're true to size and you're, let's say like me, a size 10, then go ahead. Get a size 10. You won't regret it. Um, this shoe is not narrow, nor is it wide. So it definitely goes for everybody. So, you know, that shouldn't be much of a problem. So the next thing I'd like to get into is the traction. 
the traction on these guys, um, they went with a herringbone pattern all over the shoe. And it's not just here, like I showed in the unboxing. It's also here on the outside where the outrigger is, you know, right here. And it goes all the way to the in foot where the ball of your, your foot is going to be. It was just great. On the court, these things just grip on any surface. So if you're going to use this for indoor basketball and wooden courts, which I got to use them on, this is amazing. It's just amazing. It just grip no matter what. Um, a couple of days ago, I got to ball in these on a dirty court, on an outdoor court. And to my surprise, they just grip no matter what. It was one of those courts where you really had to clean your shoe because it was under maintained. But they just grip no matter what, like stopping and cutting no matter what it was. I was just stopping. So the traction in these are just amazing. I give them a 10 out of 10 personally. Whatever type of surface you're going to play on, these will perform really well. And if you were to use these indoor, you'll get a good lifespan from these. Really, really good lifespan. But obviously if you use them outdoor, depending on how bad or how rough the surface is, these babies are going to have a lifespan. So it depends. You know, it really depends how you use them. These things are just going to keep you locked down on the floor. You're not going to get any slips. Just a reminder, if you play on outdoor, make sure you do wipe it a couple of times because, you know, just to get the dust out. But I never had a problem with dust or any dirt getting stuck inside these the groove or the pattern of the herringbone so that's a big up that is a really big up so yeah there you have it so in conclusion guys this shoe the clutch fit drive from under armor is an amazing amazing shoe what i liked about it was the overall fit of the shoe you know it was just something that I haven't felt in a long time in a lot of shoes. It's so comfy, it's so grippy to the court. You feel locked in and you feel so confident using them. So, you know, those are the things that I really like about this shoe. Where to buy these? If you're here in the Philippines, you can get these in Under Armour uh, in Bonifacio High Street. Um, for those of you who are in other countries, you can buy these on underarmor.com right now. They're now available for purchase online. You can get these also on finishline.com. So, you know, you have options where to get these. My suggestions for this shoe, uh, I don't really have any because they're just a really, really great pair for basketball. They're definitely um, great performance basketball shoes. And they really live up to the hype because, you know, we really didn't get any information on them as to when they were coming out. And testing them the last week or so, was just the best thing ever. I think they're probably my favorite basketball shoes for 2014. They're definitely up there in my overall list of basketball shoes that I've liked. I do think they upgraded more. I think ventilation would be the next best thing to do with this shoe. Not that I'm complaining, but it could get a little more ventilation. The shoe is just great. So basically, that is the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive. Okay guys, so there you have it. That was my uh, performance review on the under Armour Clutch Fit Drive. If you have any suggestions whatsoever, if you have any questions, no matter what, just, you know, comment down below and I always reply. So don't worry about that. I'll give you guys an answer as soon as I can. For those of you who do like my video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you guys like my series, what I'm doing, please do subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I'ma kick your butt. That's at I M M A. K-I-C-K-Y-A-B-U-T. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time.